everyone, so today as promised, I'm going to share with you guys how I get my no heat, beachy, wavy hair look. I just got out of the shower, so I'm going to start with wet hair. It's pretty damp. It's been air drying for maybe like 15 minutes. Um, if you find that it gets a little too dry, you can put a little bit more water in it, but, um, but this should be fine. Just not super soaked, and not where you can tell it's getting a little drier. My roots and stuff are still pretty wet, and um, so are the ends. But before I get started, I wanted to explain why this is really sort of a tough look for people that have straighter hair. If you have wavier hair, or if you even have like just the slightest bit of a natural wave, you know that usually you can create this look fairly easily using like a sea salt spray, or some sort of product like that, because your hair sort of has that natural wave to work with. Well, when you have stick straight hair like me, it's really difficult to get that look, but sometimes you really want to do that. It's just easy and fun, and so I found a way that really works, absolutely no heat. Um, the whole idea of this is just very easy, laid back. It's not going to be perfect, but it is a really fun look to do. I like to do this like on vacation. It's just a super easy look. So what you want to do is start with damp hair. My roots are still uh, really wet. My ends are too. If you find that you've waited too long, you can always put a little bit more water in. I always do this at night. I wanted to share this a little bit earlier. It's um, it's around 6 o'clock right now, uh, so I've still got to cook dinner and stuff like that, but I wanted to film it before the sun went down. You want to do this the night before, so because you want to sleep on it. You want your hair to sort of have time to dry. The longer that it sits, the better, uh, but you definitely want to wait till the next morning to take it down, and I'll show you what I mean. So to start, rather than using those like really drying, like sea salt sprays or like a gel or those type of products that you think when you're creating a look like this. I'm gonna start with a styling cream. I really like the Perfect Hair Day for me. It's by Living Proof. Or sometimes I've even used this one, the um, Prime Style Extender. I had a little sample of this. This is cool stuff, but I like this one because it gives me a little more texture. So I don't use a whole ton of it. So I first start in the roots and I just sort of work it in like that. And then whatever's left, you just want to work it through the lengths of your hair. You get that all worked in, and then on the ends, I like to use a smoothing product. You, this will work, but um, sometimes, I mean, this is sort of an unnecessary step if you use a lot of the other product on your ends, but I sort of like doing this because sometimes you can really uh, get, it can look dry on the ends, and for that, I use the Pantene, my hands are all greasy, the BB cream, uh, what is it called, 10 in 1. It's very similar to the Alterna CC cream for your hair. That's why I tried that one, because I just wanted to find a cheaper alternative, because it's not a product that I use a whole lot. Alright, so I get that all over my ends. I would probably stay away from using that on my roots, though. I like the, um, the one that's thickening on my roots. Now for the next product that I use sort of for this whole, like, prep stage is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. This is a really good one. It doesn't have a lot of, um... I mean, it, it, it's a little drying as sea salt sprays are, but it just sort of... It, it's going to give it that sort of tex textured, piecey look, and this smells so good. It smells like real coconuts, like it's not like a gross scent. Um, and so I just sort of go around and spray it into my hand, like into my hair like that, and sort of get it, get it in there. Make sure you get it on your ends. I don't like to spray stuff in here because of my shoes, so I'm like spraying it into my hands. I usually always do this in my bathroom. Uh, Alright, I don't do this a ton at the roots, but what I'll do is I'll spray it into my hand, um, like three squirts or whatever, and then I'll just sort of rub it together and sort of, you know, get it into my roots a little. Okay, so when you really feel like your hair is really coated with all of these products, but it feels light, like it still, it still feels good, um, then we're going to start putting it up, which this is going to be the key in this. So sometimes I'll just like twist it into a top knot. That's what's going to create the waves and really like set it because like I said I have no natural waves. So but what I like to do if you really want even a nicer look is I section it. So I'm going to start with the top and I'll do three sections and then I'm just going to twist it like I would a bun. So I'm going to have like three little buns whenever I twist my hair into a top knot without like a sock bun or anything like that. It's so tiny. When you have fine hair, they're like tiny little knots. And then just twist it, but be careful because you're not trying to tie your hair into a knot, you're just trying to twist carefully. And then for this top one, I'll put like a tiny little, like one of these clear clips, just to keep it in place. Okay, so we're done there. And then these two back sections, um, let's see, I'm gonna spray it just one more time because they feel like they kinda, I wanna make sure they're still really, damp with this. 
And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna um, put these into two more little little buns. Now, if you're gonna now you're gonna be sleeping on this, so you really want these back ones to be secure. The other one's sort of like on the top of your head, um, but these you really want to be secure. I like to use these goody spin pins. I'll show you in a second. So just wrap the whole thing up, just carefully twisting as you go. These goodie spin pens are super awesome. I need to get one more pack so that I can, they come in packs of twos, but you just twist it into the little, um, into your little knot or your bun. These are tiny little, tiny little buns. Make sure you can kind of feel it touch your scalp so it really sort of anchors onto the, and then you've got that, beautiful. And then we're gonna do the last one. So you're gonna look very Gwen Stefani circa 1996, but that's okay. Because you're doing this before bed, you're not gonna be like going anywhere. I mean, if you're into this look, this is like a twofer and you totally could. But you see, I got my little knots, sleep on it, go to bed. If you were in a hurry, you could even put like a little bit of like a hair dryer on it. Um, for just a couple seconds, but the idea is to use no heat and um, So yeah, so this is super simple and All you got to do is sleep on it So I will come back in the morning and show you how it turned out. Good morning everyone. We are back um, I feel like a I felt like a talk show host there um, Okay, so my hair is you know, I slept on it. It's a little floppy. I, I also meant to say last night too, um, when you do this, if you know that you sleep on your back, you may want to like put the little buns to the side or I always sleep on my side. So this didn't really, but they still get sort of, you know, weird. So, um, they held up pretty well and all you do, you gotta twist out these little spin pins that sometimes can, oh, there you go. It takes a few minutes to get, or a few seconds to get started sometimes. All right. So, you just sort of loosen it up and just sort of be gentle and just sort of shake it out and then we'll um, we'll shake it out in a minute and then I always love like when you put your hair in a bun or you put your hair up like that right after you wash it it always smells really good when you take it down so we're just carefully loosening all the little um, buns you want to be careful though sometimes this stuff can make it sort of stick together and you don't want to rip any hair or anything. Um, I guess I should have done this to the other side, but you can go ahead and just start sort of like working it out and then sort of run your hands through it like that and we'll fix it in a moment, but it should look really sort of wavy and kinky, which is really good because it will fall a little bit as it sort of sits. And this one I didn't have a spin pin, so I used a little clip. So, you just sort of do the same thing. Just carefully, carefully work it out. So what I do is I just sort of loosen it all up like that because it's also kind of like pulled back because it's sort of dried back too, which will give you a lot of volume. So what I do is I, um, next I sort of part my hair where it should go. And a lot of times for like a wavy look, I'll just sort of make it just sort of go to the side and not really care. Um, but... Part it how you want it, or at least on the side that you want it. it. can be a little messier. And then you see you sort of have like more waves, and it's not like as perfect, uh, obviously, as like a curling iron or something. Um, it has that yummy sea salt spray smell. So you can see it's just very natural. It's got like that natural, beachy, messy wave the texture to it, which is a big deal when you have like stick straight hair. Now, um, it's supposed to look a little PC and a little weird, but um, if you find that it's looking a little too soft in some sections, you can um, spray a little more of the sea salt spray in it and it will sort of, um, it'll sort of piece it back together. All right, so that's it. It's just messy. You can do whatever. You can actually like take a few pieces and I like to sort of do that sometime and just sort of pin them back. You can take a hairspray and spray it. I like it to sort of stay soft though. Um, and the waves are actually set because you've actually let them dry overnight. And so they're not really gonna disappear. They might fall a little, which they already have, but they're not gonna disappear. So they're already set in your hair and everything. You don't really have to like 
spray it or set it or anything. It, it'll just kind of stay soft and natural feeling. Sometimes I will put a little bit of a shine spray in there. This is um, the Tresemme No Frizz Ultra Light Shine Spray. I've had this stuff for years and it like never goes anywhere, <laughs> but, um, but it works really great and it's really, really lightweight. So you can definitely use that too. But, um, but I just like the sort of soft, easy look. It's just, it's just easy. And the volume's pretty impressive, especially like at the roots and stuff, which as you know, if you have stick straight hair is a challenge, especially if you were gonna do something like this, cause you would end up with like craziness down here and then this would just be like meh. Um, but that's the point. It's supposed to be messy. It's supposed to be fun and beachy. But the idea is that it's just supposed to be sort of messy and soft and kind of undone, and which I really like it. Like you've been at the beach. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you'll try it out. And if you guys have straight hair, you'll have another option to style your hair this summer, which is kind of fun. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.